this project will connect analog XY joystick to Arduino now. The joystick has VRX and VRY analog signals and it also has a switch that can be activated by pressing the joystick handle down. We'll connect black wire to the ground pin of the joystick, red wire to the 5 volts, green wire to the VRX, yellow wire to the VRY, and purple wire to the switch. The black wire will be connected to one of the Arduino Nano ground pins here. The red wire will be connected to 5 volts. The green wire will be connected to analog pin 0. Yellow wire to analog pin 1. The purple wire will be connected to digital pin 2. In this project, we'll use structured packet communication to send multiple channels of data from Arduino. We'll start by adding a packet component. Click on this Tools button, add two binary analog channels, and one binary digital channel. Expand the head marker and add 5555 in the bytes editor. This will be our unique header to easily discover the beginning of the packets. Connect the output pin of the packet 1 to the input pin of serial channel 0. Connect the input pin of the first analog channel of packet 1 to the output pin of analog channel 0 on the Arduino board. Connect the output pin of analog channel 1 to the input pin of the second analog channel of the packet 1. And connect the input of the digital element on packet 1 to the output of digital pin 2. Since we'll be using a joystick that does not have pull-up resistor on the digital pin, we'll use the built-in pull-up resistor on the Arduino Nano by enabling the is pull-up property of digital channel 2. Generate the code Compile and upload the code. The code is uploaded. Now we can select packet 1 as format for our communication. The terminal will be disabled. The scope immediately will be populated with the three channels for the communication. An instrument wrap will appear with two gauges and LED to display the data from the channels. If we connect, we will see the data arriving from the joystick. We can change it by moving the joystick and we can switch on and off the switch. We can monitor the same on the gauges. And on the scope. 